Hello and thank you for joining me for another Somerset Real Air review. Um, I don't think what I was saying then. Um, so I've just uh, just reviewed another beer. So this is my second one. Um, this is from the Cotswold Spring Brewery. It's their Stunner. I've not had a beer from the Cotswold Spring Brewery before, but I've heard uh, lots of good things about them. Apparently they are a really good brewery. So um, should be interesting to get into that one. Another one from um, West Country Ales. Thanks to Fred. Come on, check him out at his website www.westcountryales.co.uk. Got some great beers from the West Country and uh, all over now on there. So um, yeah. Anyway, this is a four percent ABV, um, buxom fragrant, buxom fragrant, golden, bursting with straw and sunshine. Well, let's just see if it is. Nice little bit of smoke on the open there. Brown 500 ml bottle, by the way. I forgot to mention. It's a bit uh, blowy out there, I don't know whether you can hear the wind gusting around, it's been like a tornado today outside. Right, let's leave it at that. Normally with a bottle conditioned beer you pour it all in straight away but for reviewing purposes so I can get my nose in the glass, I leave a little gap. That is sort of golden coppery in colour, fair bit of um, sediment moving around in there but that's fine for me I don't mind that it's not the clearest glass of beer in the world I don't think you should drink with your eyes I think you should drink with your nose and your mouth well your mouth predominantly but you know don't don't look at it because it, it can ruin what um, what could be a great drink it's a little bit of carbonation in there half a finger just off white very small bubbled head and look at that lacing the way the beer is sticking to the side of the glass there that looks fantastic. Right, let's get the nose in. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say that smells amazing. That is, it is just like it says on the, on the bottle, fragrant. You're getting a sort of an orangey, lemony zest. I know I keep saying orange lately in beers, but it's because I'm drinking a lot of bitters and they do have a sort of orange flavour. Um, I'm not just like, you know, just guessing, it, it, you know. That has got orange and a lemon sort of nice zestiness. It has got, um, yeah, it has got a straw-like quality to the smell. Smells absolutely. It smells of summer. It does smell. It says it on there. Smell of, smells of, of straw and sunshine. It smells like a good summery golden ale. Or it isn't. But it isn't quite golden. It's a bit. Maybe it is a bit golden. Slightly golden to amber. There's a sort of amber tinge in it. That that smells of just refreshing summer. Sat outside by a, a, a you know one of those static caravans in a nice caravan park that you, you know, I used to go on holiday a lot. Sat outside there with a barbecue, drinking a pint of this. That's how I picture it. Um, although the taste could be completely different. But that just smells of that, like the floral, floral sort of straw, summery, zesty, orange and. Orange and lemon quality. Oh, I've got to get into this. Cheers. Oh. Oh, oh that's amazing. That is amazing. Definitely, oh, you're getting the sweetness immediately on this with a nice creamy, but yet slightly carbonated mouthfeel. And then you're left with a nice bitterness on your tongue, dries your tongue out lovely, makes you want more. You get sort of the bitternesses afterwards, but then you're left with this sort of lovely earthy, I'm guessing from Fuggles Hops, lovely earthy bitterness left on your tongue, woody, earthy. <coughs> It tastes like a fence post that's been left in the mud. Yeah, I, what I imagine that to taste like. It 
it's more it is more bitter than uh, than 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 sweet let's get the rest in here I'd say if you don't like bitter beers, I don't think you'd like this one. I see there's only you're gonna see because it has the suns in the wrong direction, but there is, take it from me, there's a bit of um, sediment left in the bottom there, don't they? I don't think you're gonna see it, but there is some sediment left in the bottom. Bottle condition for best flavor and naturally, oh yeah, naturally, crafted by our artisan brewers with natural Cotswold spring water. The finest malt, hops bursting with flavour and our own brewer's yeast. Our bo bottle conditioned beers continue to develop in the bottle for a, a fuller flavour. Uh, I, I won't read that out because if you want to read about where well, you can either read that, pause it and read it. It's even got a QR code on there as well. If you want to pause that and read that, um, you're more than welcome. Um, Real Ale is a wonderful natural product made with four simple ingredients, malt, hops, yeast and water. We use natural spring water taken from a source right under our feet in the Cotswold Hills. They actually got, their brewery is actually, that was actually a water, bottled water company before it was a brewery. Wait, well, it still is a bottled water company. Our master brewer provides the magic by blending these ingredients together to craft our award-winning beers full of character every time. Don't just take our word for it, we are welcome. We welcome visitors to our brewery at the gateway to the Cotswold. If you can't make it, then why not follow us on facebook.com forward slash Cotswold Spring Brewing Co. Cotswold Spring Brewing Co. Doddington Spring, Doddington Ash, Chipping Sudbury, South Gloucester. It's just off junctions 16 or 17 or 18. One of the junctions, the Bath Junction, I think, of the, um, of the motorway, of the M4, sorry. The motorway, the M4 www.springbrewing.co Fair play. Yeah, so that's the Cotswold Spring Stunner. Um, let's give it a rating then. Another taste and a rating. I really like that beer. Although I think I've missed the sweetness. Um, but it's got such an interesting flavour. I think that's going to get an 8 out of 10 for me. I really like it, but I don't. Sessionability wise, I think I, after sort of two or three pints, I perhaps want to go on to something a little bit different. Because that bitterness would get to you after a while. Um, but it is a really good beer. Really good. Um, thanks for watching. Um, Appreciate you watching. I do. I really do appreciate people watching me. It's uh, fantastic because I am, after all, just a bloke talking about beer and drinking it. Um, love to see your comments in the comments box, and I hope you join me again soon on another review. Cheers.